Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we are here in Savannah, Georgia. And today we're going to cover a few are the don'ts of visiting the south of the U.S. and specifically the southeast, you know, the deep south, the Georgia, Alabama, Louisiana, South Carolina, this kind of stuff. Because there's some things you should know that are different than the traditional don'ts of the U.S. They're specific in general. There's some we want to focus on just for here in the south. And the first don't I have for you is don't forget your manners. Look, Manners are a huge thing in the South. Whether you're a little kid or you're an old man, you need to have your manners when you're here. You do use your pleases and thank yous and yes ma'am and yes sir and things like that. That is not optional. That is how you speak when you're here and you always show people respect, especially people that are older than you, okay? So you will be holding the door for people and things like that. And I'll tell you, don't you ever let an old Southern woman or an old Southern man or anyone that seems older than you stand up. You always give up your chair to the older ladies or the older gentlemen when you are there because it's a sign of respect. That's how it works here in the South because manners are a huge thing when you are here. And another thing is, is don't forget to smile when you are here. You'll see how happy and friendly the people are. And one of the parts that is just this happy-go-lucky nature that you have here in the South. So don't forget to smile because you will have a good time. And with that is don't be surprised if people randomly start up conversations with you when you are here in the South, going grocery shopping, if you pass by somebody maybe twice in two different aisles, don't be surprised you strike up a conversation out of the blue on the next aisle. It is a completely normal thing here because the Southerners are super friendly. I know we were at a restaurant here in town a couple days ago. My credit card fell through the crack in the floor. Like it was like a deck kind of thing that they had built up. They pried up the floor to get my card out. I'm like, dude, I can call and cancel the card. It's okay. They're like, no, no, we got this taken care of. The people in the South are super friendly, so don't freak out about it. It's not fake. They are really that friendly and that helpful. So don't be scared to ask for help when you come here. That's another don't I have for you. Because you're going to see towns like Savannah or Charleston. There's so much history here. You're not sure, what should I be looking at here? I mean, you have this picture. What should I look at? Well, you got the cotton exchange right there. Like, oh, there's a historic building. And you've got the, 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 the fountains and you've got the Capitol building. You have these things. You're like, wow, it is kind of a cool thing to check out, but you want to know more. And the Southerners do have a lot of pride in their hometowns, in their home states and stuff like that, that they will share that with you. So don't be afraid to ask, hey, we're the best biscuits in town. We're going to get the best, you know, the strongest drinks in town. They will be friendly and they will help you out. One of the things is when you do talk to the Southerners, you might notice that sometimes they're an accent. And what I will say is don't think that that accent makes them stupid, okay? Just because someone has an accent doesn't, doesn't make them like not know something or be less intelligent or whatever. And you have this stereotype that TV and radio and movies really kind of promote is, oh, if you got an accent, you must be some kind of hillbilly. Do not think that the Southerners are hillbillies. Don't think their accent makes them stupid. It's not the case. You can have some great conversations with people when you are here and they'll know more than you actually think they do. And so I wanna give you the heads up on that. And another don't I have with you is when you are here and you do bring your kids, don't be surprised if your kids are acting up, if the locals will tell your kid, hey, straighten up, hey, get it together. You will see that here. People do scold other people's kids when you're here in the South. And I know if you're in the North or you're in California, West Coast or something like that, and someone tells your kid, hey, watch a kid, you're like, don't tell my kid what to do. I've had people do that to us before. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, your kid just kicked me. Am I supposed to let your kid, you know, hit me or something? Here, that stuff doesn't fly. Your kid's acting obnoxious. Be prepared to have people call you out on that because remember, number one, manners, okay? And that goes from young to old. So make sure little Johnny or little Susie know that, hey, you say yes ma'am, yes sir, please and thank you, and you don't make a mess, all right? So just a heads up on that one. Now, when they do call out your kids for the behavior, they're not judging you and judging your parental skills and stuff like that. What they kind of do here in the South is it's the old mantra, it takes a village to raise a child, and so the whole village is helping out raising the child, okay? So don't be offended by it. Because you know what? It is hot when you're here, and that's my next don't is, don't melt when you come to the South. Look, July and August, oppressive heat in pretty much the entire deep south and in lots of places oppressive humidity like you walk out and you're like oh i'm gonna melt and die oh help me god you do have that when you are here so if you're gonna come there's a reason why so many people winter in the south because it's got nice weather in the winter so come down here from october till april and you're not gonna have the insane heat you're gonna have nice weather and less humidity 
but don't expect to not die of the heat and humidity if you do come in July and August. So I'll be honest with that. It can be pretty bad, okay? And I guess one of the other don'ts I'll have for you is if you're really hot and you wanna get a drink and you go in, they, they might ask you, hey, you know, what, what kind of Coke do you want? You're like, what? So my thing is, don't think that Coke just means Coke. Here, a lot of times what you'll see is, they'll say, hey, what kind of Coke you want? They mean, what kind of soda would you like? What kind of pop or soda pop or, or drink? It's just the word they use for soda is Coke, okay? So don't freak out, You're like, I don't drink Coke. Yeah, yeah, I know, we have lots of different Cokes, right? Dr. Pepper, whatever. You do have that when you are here. Now, the last few years, I've definitely seen a drop off in the number of places where they do use Coke as the de facto word for soda or soda pop. So you're not, you might not see it too often, but occasionally you will. So I just want to give you that heads up. And the thing is, if you're going to meet up with Southerners to have a drink, whether it's a Coke or, or a beer or whatever, is you got to realize is don't expect the Southerners to be on time. There's definitely a much more laissez-faire attitude with time here in the South. And as Jocelyn will tell you, look, with this kind of humidity, how's my hair going to dry? You know, these kind of things, it takes a little bit more time. Or Jocelyn will tell me, hey, I've got to get my face on. Look. The thing is, is time is very relevant here. So if you're setting up a time, hey, let's meet at eight o'clock, they might not be there till 8.30 or something like that or later. And don't worry if they write, she's like, oh, we're on our way. And that means like, I'm getting in the shower, okay? So the more time you spend here, you'll realize that, yeah, on time, not always a thing to expect to have here. Now, going back to that drinky kind of thing, another thing you need to know is when you, <laughs> when you get tea here, don't think your tea is gonna be unsweetened, okay? In the South, you drink sweet tea, period, end of story. Unsweetened tea belongs in one place, down a drain, all right? So if you're gonna get tea, it's gonna be sweet tea, all right? And it's really good. And don't think that sweet tea is tea plus sugar. No, no, no. For all my friends, when you go to a restaurant in the North and you ask for sweet tea, they say, oh, I have sugar packets with the tea. You're like, no, that's not the same thing, all right? So, so don't expect unsweetened tea when you're here. What I think is, is if you're looking at food, Honestly, if you're gonna be coming to the South, don't bring tight clothes, or at least bring a belt with a couple extra loops on it, because you're gonna eat so much when you're here, because there's so much good food, from the fried chicken, the biscuits, the grits, oh my God, the barbecue, there's so much fantastic food that yes, you will get quite big when you are here. I mean, I'll show you a picture of before I started coming to the South, and this is what I look like now, okay? So, heads up with that, so don't forget, a bit more room in your clothing when you are here. Now my next don'ts kind of focus on some misconceptions of southern food. No, they don't fry everything, but they do fry a lot. But honestly, my biggest don't would be that, look, don't think that barbecue goes on the grill. The grilling things you grill on your barbecue at home is hot dogs and burgers and steaks. Barbecue here in the south is smoked meat, whether it is, of course, a butt, a, oh, a Boston butt, oh my God, pulled pork is fantastic, or you're having brisket or whatever, you have the smoked meat that's been on there for hours and hours, and it makes it all succulent and juicy, and it's so good, and that's why when you're in the south, you're eating barbecue all over the place. Because the thing is, if you're thinking that barbecue is just grilled meat, think about it. If you put a steak or any kind of meat on your grill, straight on the flames for seven hours, you know what you'd have? Charcoal, okay? It's not the same thing. So don't think barbecue is on the grill. It's in a smoker, just sucking in all those flavors. So definitely get barbecue when you are here. I'm not gonna lie to you. Another don't I have for you actually dealing with those barbecue thing is, don't be surprised if the barbecue sauce you have varies from state to state. So here in Georgia, we have sweet barbecue sauce, right? But if you go to South Carolina, it's like a barbecue-based uh, barbecue sauce. If you go to North Carolina, it's a vinegar-based uh, barbecue sauce. And if you go to Memphis, well, Memphis, they use a dry rub on their ribs. And so you have all these different kinds of barbecue you can have. I mean, I was in Alabama and, oh my God, I had some fantastic ribs when I was there. And here in Savannah, I'm doing the pulled pork. And, and, and I mean, you just have all these different variations. So don't think, oh, I'm doing a Southern tour. We had barbecue in North Carolina. I don't need to have it again. You should because it will be different in each place you go. And one thing that kind of goes along with the regional differences in the barbecue is also don't think that all the South is the same. I mean, if you're going to Atlanta, it's a very different experience than coming here to Savannah or going to Charleston, which is very different than going to New Orleans or Natchez in Mississippi or, or going to Memphis versus Nashville or Knoxville or going to the Outer Banks and, and these kind of things. You have a lot of different 
kind of regional differences in the South, whether it's geography, whether it's people, whether it's food and cuisine and stuff like that. And yes, different types of barbecue that are out there. So don't think it's all the same. And don't think, well, I went to Atlanta, I saw the South. No, you saw part of the South. So go and explore more of it. Another don't I have for you has to do with that beautiful Spanish moss you see behind me. See it just kind of dripping down there. Oh, it is so cool. And you want to go and grab some and hold it like, oh, should I wear it as a shawl? Look, my don't for you is if you're in the coastal part of the south and you see Spanish moss, don't touch it. There's little buggies in there. There's little chickers in there that will bite you and bite you and bite you and you get all itchy and stuff like that. So don't try to make your own I'm going to be Mark Walters picture and stuff it in your shirt so you get a big belly like me. Don't do that, okay? Because that stuff, man, you'll be like, eh, can't make it stop. And that's more, I mean, most people would know to do that, not to do that. But I have seen a lot of kids, they'll go and start playing with it and their parents don't realize it. So I want to make sure you know, don't play with the Spanish moss. Now, a fashion don't I have for you, and I know I am not the person to listen to about fashion, and that's okay, is if you're a tourist, don't worry if you feel underdressed. Look, here in the South, you can, I mean, their fashion, all fashion is acceptable here. You'll see people wearing flip-flops and G-strings, and you'll see people wearing their Southern gentleman best and their seersucker suits. You'll see that. And the thing is, though, if you're going to go, if you go to, for example, you go to a football game in Georgia, guess what? You'll see people in heels. We were at the grocery store at Publix, and people are doing their grocery shopping in heels. It's not an uncommon thing. So don't, but don't feel that you have to dress up that nice. I mean, don't get me wrong. People will be appreciative of it, but you don't have to dress up that nice when you are here. So another don't in the South is don't mess with the mayonnaise. And in the South, you got two great mayonnaise. The best is Duke's. This is what you always want to get. Blue plate, also very much an acceptable kind of thing. Not Miracle Whip. No, never that. But Duke's, blue plate, you'll be good to go and you'll get it on all kinds of stuff. Now, another Southern food I want to give you a don't for are grits, okay? And my thing is, don't think grits are just for breakfast. Because when you see grits, they look like a, a cream of wheat or, or an oatmeal or a porridge kind of thing. But the thing is, they do look like that, but they're actually made out of hominy. And if you're not sure what hominy is, it's like a corn derivative, so you do have that. But the thing is, you look at it, you think, oh, this is going to be like a porridge. It's only for breakfast. Oh, no, 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 no. Grits are good any time of the day. You can have normal plain grits or cheese grits, which is always good. My personal favorite, if you're looking for something like a lunch or a dinner thing, shrimp and grits, oh my God, it is so good. So don't think grits are just for breakfast. It may look like it, but it so isn't. And going along with that, don't think biscuits are the same here as well, because biscuits in the South, there's a different kind of flour they use. So make sure if you get a chance to grab some biscuits whenever you can, because oh my God, they are so good, seriously. Don't pass up the food in the South. I've said it before, I'll say it again. It is so good from the fried chicken to the pecan pie to, oh my God, anything you have here is awesome. And the thing is, if you're going to cities like Savannah, you'll have Southern, traditional Southern cuisine, you know, collars and stuff like that. But you also have newer kind of fusion kind of Southern food. So you can have all kinds of great mixes. Now, another thing you should know is when you come to the South, I know when people come from around the world to come visit the U.S., we have a very popular sport here in the U.S. we call football, or you might call American football. And here in the South, it's like a religion. People love their SEC football. They have their Georgia Bulldog shirts on, or their Alabama, the Crimson Tide, they their, or LSU, or whatever. They really love their football in the South, okay? And so if you're gonna make this thing, oh, it's boring, soccer's better, or basketball's better, just don't don't, just don't. I'm telling you right now, it is not worth the headache of the discussion because they love their football here. They're super passionate about it. And don't pass up the chance to go to a football game on a Saturday in the fall because it'll be a great experience, not just for the game, but don't miss out on tailgating, the party before the game when you're grilling out and you're, you're drinking beer with your buddies and stuff like that. It's a whole experience and you'll see that Wow, why is it from on the Saturday, it's from three to six, the city was empty. Oh, because the Georgia Bulldogs were playing and so everybody in town was watching the game. You do have that when you are here. And I guess another don't I'll give you is when you're preparing for that tailgate and you're going to the grocery store or the grocery, when you get your stuff, you know that little thing you, you fill up with all the groceries, that thing you push around, don't call it a cart here. It's called a buggy, all right? It's a buggy you push around. And my last don't for you is, don't skip out on visiting the South. You will fall in love with it, with amazing architecture, amazing people, 
tons of beautiful towns to visit. You go to Natchez, Mississippi, on the Mississippi River and seeing all the homes there, or, or visiting New Orleans and seeing the history there and the, and the Creole culture, or maybe you're heading up to Oxford, Mississippi, where Ole Miss is, or you're heading through Alabama, or you're coming here into Savannah, Georgia, going to Charleston, or hitting Atlanta, the mega metropolis of the South, going up to Asheville for, for amazing beer, or hitting the Outer Banks. There's so much great things to enjoy in the South that you really want to go and explore. And that's why I tell people, don't try to see the whole U.S. Pick a region and focus on that. And the South is a great region to see because you can drive around lots of places. The roads are good because there's no freezing and thawing. So the highways stay even, which is awesome. And you really, really love it because the people, they care about their cities, they care about their towns. They have a very much pride in those places. So they want to share that with the tourists like you, like me. So you will fall in love with places like that. And we really appreciate all of your support, whether it's in, in following or it's in liking or it's in subscribing. It means the world to us. And we do hope you sign up because we do put out travel videos every Wednesday and Saturday. If I have time, I put out a few more during the week from all over this great world we have. So I will say goodbye uh, from here in Savannah, Georgia, and have a great time, y'all. You will. Don't worry. Bye from Savannah.